it's Defy and it's Tuesday, August 2nd, 2011 and I am still at 243 but that's okay, I'm fine with that but I wanted to make another video because I wanted to talk about willpower today and um, I want to talk about willpower as a type of tough love, tough self-love if you will. And, um, and discipline, of course, is tied into that. I've been told by diet gurus and nutritionists and doctors that willpower comes and goes, which it does, obviously, and that it, you shouldn't rely on it for weight loss. It's not the best way. And, and I do believe that to a certain extent. But I'm saying that, you know, I think we live in a day and age where... Um, nobody wants to take responsibility for their own actions and their own weaknesses and their own, um, you know, bad habits. Everything's a disease nowadays. Everything's a, a, dis, a disorder or a syndrome or whatever you might call it. But I think the real disease is that we are too easy on ourselves. And I think that we need to get back to realizing the importance of discipline and the importance of willpower, especially when it comes to weight loss. I mean, there's so many people out there who used to tell me what I wanted to hear and coddle me and say, oh no, you're just big bones or you just come from, you know, a family who, with this genetic disposition. And to a certain extent, that might be true. But really, the reason that I'm this fat is because I couldn't control myself and I refused to be disciplined and I refuse to tap into willpower and I just did what I want when I wanted to do it, ate what I want when I wanted to eat it. As I talked about in my other video, I'm a, I'm a pleasure addict and I just wanted what I wanted and I wanted it to feel good. Now, like I mentioned in that video, there are forces that are really hard to fight. And I'm not talking about that. I understand that if you eat lots of sugar and you eat lots of flour and refined foods, you willpower <laughs> willpower isn't going to um, help you. Your your brain and your physiology is so messed up that you're just one big you know reaction. You're just on autopilot. So I'm talking to those of you who have gotten to the point where you've cleaned up your diet and you have a bit of sanity um, in your life when it comes to food and you've stabilized yourself um, but there are you know still those issues even when you get to the point now I'm getting to that point that's just why I'm making this video where I feel really sane and I feel um, really good I feel really good about the food choices I'm making but I didn't get this big, you know, just by chance. I, I did this to myself, which means that there's some other issues aside from the food um, triggers, but, you know, all of those triggers. There's other issues that are causing me to overeat. So, and that's where willpower comes in because I'm going to be honest with you, I'm still struggling it's still a struggle. Every moment is a struggle. Um, you know, today I went grocery shopping and I was really hungry, which is really stupid. I thought about, you know, grabbing um, just a bag of chips and just eating those potato chips just because I was super hungry. Um, and here's a good example where I'm really, really hungry, so this is a physiological thing that's happening in my, in my brain, in my body, I need to eat. But willpower came in, not that I didn't get something to eat, but because I did eat something, but I just made a better choice. I grabbed a Atkins bar that was on sale and I ate that instead of grabbing the chips, which I really wanted, I just wanted those chips. But I took a step back and I... I had to talk with myself and I pulled on my inner resources and my inner discipline and I said no to that. But I don't, I'm not saying that, you know, typically that's how willpower comes into play. I'm not saying that because it should have started before I even left. I should have 
eaten before I go gone to the grocery store. And when I go to the grocery store, I should make I should buy things that are really good for me. I shouldn't bring these things into the house. And this is one of those really obvious statements that everybody knows, but if you don't have it, you can't eat it. And I just I would lie to myself and say, "Well, I'll just get this little bit of, let's say, it was like Haagen-Dazs Hagen dazs um, Dolce de Leche is one of those real, one of those things I used to love to eat. I'll just get a pint and I'll just bring it home and I'll just have a little serving of it or half a serving and I'll just do that. But I can't do that. That's that that's beyond willpower for me. Um, that is um, just impossible for me. So that's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about even if you set up everything to be perfect and if you got everything going on in your your home so that you have great food to eat and you're exercising things still sneak up on you you still go out to dinner with your friends or you still for me i live with my partner and he is not on he's not eating what i eat i mean he he does like i do cook dinner for him and he eats what i prepare and i eat what he eats but what I'm saying is he has other things in the house that he can eat. He likes jalapeno potato chips and he likes, you know, his, um, he eats, you know, a lot of sandwiches and he has just different snack foods or whatever that I'm not eating right now. So, um, sometimes though I have to prepare those foods for him or I have to be next to him when he's eating a bowl of chips or something. So in those moments I have to call on my inner strength and remember what I want. That's why I put that quote at the end of my last video, video that discipline is remembering what you want. And so I remember what I want. I remember what my goal is. I remember why I'm doing this. And I remember how unhappy I was or how unhappy I, I really still am at this weight. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that I'm losing, but I have so much further to go so I just have to remember what I want where I'm going and um, and just really talk to myself and stop and take a breath before you act just slow down and be present come into the present moment and think about what you're doing and make the smart choice that's what willpower is it's it's um, it's asking yourself to be better it's expecting more of yourself and there's nothing wrong with that it's it's something that I feel that we've lost as a society just expect more of yourself demand more of yourself um, I'm demanding more of myself and the results are fantastic um, I'm not letting myself get away with all of my little rationales and things I used to tell myself I'm becoming aware of all of the BS excuses I would tell myself to allow myself to make such stupid choices so that's what I'm talking about I'm talking about getting real with yourself and and just really looking giving a hard look at what you're doing and making smart choices that's where discipline comes in that's where willpower comes in and I just wanted to say that and um, <laughs> hope it didn't come off as lecturing I'm not but I just, I'm sick of uh, everybody just kind of saying, woe is me, and I have this problem, or I have this addiction, or I have this, this, you know, disease, or whatever, and I can't do anything about it, and it's just the way I am, and, and no, I don't believe that. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Look in the mirror. Get yourself together. Be tough on yourself. Expect more from yourself and you will be able to transcend whatever is holding you back. You really do have that power. There is a power within you that um, you should not forget about. So that's, that's my rant for the day. And um, I'm going to be back uh, hopefully maybe this week or next week with uh, my top 10 diet tricks and tips for you for quick weight loss. So until then, have a fantastic day and I will see you soon.
Just as long as you leave me alone I got a contract out on myself I'm amphibious, I can't help myself I hang declarations from the chandelier Believe I'm dry, honey, grab me a beer Oh, 